so we're just gonna have to try and ignore the fact that my neighbour is mowing their lawn. <laughs> it's really loud, isn't it? Oh, I'm really annoyed. Yep, yeah, I hate myself a lot. <laughs> what about you? Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. Today's video is inspired by a fellow booktuber at Spoopy Hole. I saw her do this video a few weeks ago and I really wanted to do it myself. It seemed like a lot of fun but also like a chilled vibe video where I didn't really have to exude that much brain power to talk about books. <laughs> which is kind of what I feel like I need today and Holly said the same thing so <laughs> yeah I watched her video and I immediately asked her if she would mind if I did something similar on my channel and she said that was fine so full credit to this video idea goes to Holly at Spoopy Hole but it is a video that I am really excited to film. So today we are going to find out if I have read Instagram's favourite books. So I went ahead on Instagram and I did a little question box and I asked what your all-time favourite book was and I was inundated with responses and I have to say <laughs> I got multiple from the same people. Despite asking for your all-time favourite book, singular, I got a lot of all-time favourite books, plural. So I've had to go through the answers with a fine tooth comb and if you did give two answers then I have selected only one of them, otherwise we'll be here forever. So essentially I am going to go through all of the answers and I am going to categorise them into three categories. Whether I have read the book, whether I have not read the book, or whether the book is on my TBR. And that is it. I feel like it's fairly self-explanatory. I found it so interesting, like, seeing everyone's answers of what all their favourite books were. I put the question box on a while ago now so I actually don't remember most of the answers so I'm very excited to go through them all again and yeah tell you whether I've read them or not and if you enjoy this video let me know because I also asked at the same time what your least favourite books were and I feel like that one could spill some tea so let me know if you want me to react to those answers as well so without further ado we're going to go through all of the answers and find out what your all-time favourite books are. So the first one, the All for the Game trilogy by Nora Sakovic. I have not read this, however, it is on my TBR. So into the TBR camp it goes. Noughts and Crosses, I have read this one and I really enjoyed it. I've read book one and book two of the series. I haven't read any further than that, even though I intend to one day, maybe. <laughs> There's a lot of books in that series, I think. And I think Mallory Blackman may be writing more. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I have not read this. And as much as I want to say it's on my TBR, I don't own the book. So I feel like I have to say I've just not read it. And that breaks my heart a little bit. <laughs> Caraval, I have read this one. It's one of my all time favorite trilogies as well. This person has got some good reading taste, I tell you. <laughs> Strange the Dreamer. I've not read this. It's not on my current TBR, sadly. However, I really, really want to read it at some point because Lainey Taylor's writing. Have I mentioned that I love that yet? Not sure I have. <laughs> Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I have not read this. I am most definitely not a classics gal. I'm really sorry if you love your classics. They're just not for me, sadly. We have an offender of the plural for favourite books. <laughs> Seven Husbands I've read, Poppy War is on my TBR, and Cerulean Sea I have read. Simon vs the Homo Sapiens Agenda I have not read, and I wish you all the best I have also not read. Although both I would like to read at some point, although they're not on my physical TBR yet. The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. This one is on my TBR, I'm very excited to get to this. I know it's an enemies to lovers office romance and that definitely sounds like something that I will enjoy. The exact opposite of okay. I feel like I've heard of this but I can't envision a cover of it. I haven't read it and I feel like I need to google the cover because I don't know what book that is. The Song of Achilles. This one is on my TBR. I've been putting it off for a very long time because I hear mixed things actually and I also hear that it's very sad and I'm not sure. <laughs> Akatar series. I'm gonna say I've read it because I've read Akatar, Akamath and Akal War which is like the Akatar trilogy. I haven't read A Court of Frost and Starlight or A Court of Silver Flames and I'm really sorry to say that they're not on my TBR. 
I am kind of content with just the three that I've read. I feel like I can leave it there and not care. Is that controversial? Homegoing, another one on my TBR, another one that I've been putting off for a very long time. That is a TBR veteran, I'm not gonna lie. Divergent, I have read this trilogy, I loved it so much. I read it maybe when I was like 13 or 14. Some of the first fantasy slash dystopia I ever read and now I kind of want to reread them. Wonder, I know whose favourite book this is, hi G. And you might want to cover your ears because I haven't read it. I've seen the film though and it made me cry a lot. So I kind of do want to read the book because I feel like it will make me even more emotional than the film. But no, I have not read this one, sorry G. The Night Circus by Erin Morganston. I have read this one, I really, really enjoyed it. The Shadow of the Wind. This is another one I'm really struggling to like, envision the cover. I haven't read it. My Brilliant Friend, again, I haven't read it and I don't think I've heard of it either. Maybe if I saw the cover of it I would know what you meant but I have not read this one. The Heart's Invisible Furies, I've not read this one. It's not on my TBR at the moment, however it is a book that I've seen a lot of good things about and maybe one day I will pick it up. Kingdom of Copper by S.A. Chakraborty. Now, I'm gonna say it's on my TBR, although I don't own it, I own City of Brass, which is on my TBR, and I do feel like it's going to be a series that I'm going to love and want to continue. I'm just on the hunt for books two and three in the UK hardcover, secondhand, at not an atrocious price. I found my hardcover of City of Brass on Bookswap for £3.50, <laughs> which I feel like is so jammy, but now I have no idea how to go about sourcing the other two. So... <laughs> Here we are. Wolf Song. I feel like, is that the, yeah, that is that the TJ Klune book? It's not on my TBR. I haven't read it. However, I love TJ Klune, so maybe it will be on my TBR one day. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo all the way. Yes, I love that book. I did love it a lot. Long Way Down. I've read this and it was incredible. I would highly recommend. Foxhole Court again. This one's actually more popular than I thought it would be, but I'm excited to read it now. I have book one on my TBR. Ready Player One. I have read this one. It blew me away. This was a book that really took me by surprise last year when I read it. I was not expecting to love it anywhere near as much as I did. Evelyn Hugo, there she is again. I feel like Evelyn Hugo really is like a solid bookster favourite and it doesn't surprise me. The Gilded Ones. I have read this and I loved this book. I loved it. Cerulean Sea, again, I loved it as well. I've read this book and I loved it. A Thousand Splendid Sons, I have not read this book. Um, I do know that this book along with The Kite Runner are really, really popular books though. I don't have huge intentions to read them, but you never know, maybe one day. Frankenstein, again, another classic. I haven't read it and I don't have intentions to, unfortunately. I looked at that then and I was like, what's that? <laughs> A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I have read this one and I did really, really enjoy it. The House in the Cerulean Sea. I feel like it's a toss up between this one and Evelyn Hugo as to which one is the favourite. And The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. There you go. I definitely think these two books are tied for like Bookstagram's favourite book, if we're gonna call it that. The Muse by Jessie Burton. I have not read this book. And I don't think it's like a really popular one on booktube or bookstagram. Um, I don't recall seeing that many reviews for it. So that is very interesting. I kind of want to go and check it out now. Vicious by V.E. Schwab. This one is on my TBR and I'm very excited to get to it. And that's it. That's all of them. Well, all of them that weren't multiple answers because if I'd have included all of those, we would have been here until next week. And I feel like that's just a lot. Did you spot any of your favourite books here? And if not, what is your all-time favourite book? And tell me why. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was something a little bit different for me, but it was really interesting to see what everyone's favourite books are. And I've read more of them than I thought I would have done. To be fair, I'm quite impressed with myself. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> She says, having read like five of them, but I'm still proud of that. <laughs> if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. It really does mean the world to me and I post bookish content regularly. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.